Okay, well, I'm gonna start. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. It's been a while. Um, I don't do them very often. I don't do them on any type of schedule. It's just if I think of a topic to talk about, which isn't very often, then um, I might do a vlog. This is like maybe my, I wanna say fourth, maybe. Um, the last one I did was uh, in the summer. I went and got a tattoo and um, did a vlog about that. So that was kind of fun. So if you haven't seen that one, you might want to check that out. Maybe Alex will leave the link below, hopefully, um, if you would be so kind. Anyhow, today my topic is snacks. Who doesn't love snacks? Um, originally, I was thinking... Um, snacks you only find in Canada, like uniquely unique to Canada. Uh, I did a little bit of research and I found, you know, okay, some said, oh yeah, these are only available in Canada and some were saying, no, you can get them here and there and everywhere else. But so anyhow, I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys some of the things I came up with and uh, please leave me a comic. I'd like to know if, if you guys have these things um, everywhere else. Um, some things apparently are only in Canada and Europe and so uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious if, if these things are in the States too. So leave me a comment and uh, let me know. Um, you know what guys? Just, I forgot one thing. Hold on one second. Okay, I had a little list. So I know what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, I'll start with chips. Okay, first of all, um, I really don't eat junk food very often. I mean, I like chocolate, but that's about it. And I, I don't eat a whole lot of that either. I'm a bit of a health nut. But um, so I went and bought, bought all these chips and chocolate bars and everything else. And I was like, oh, it was kind of, it just felt wrong. But anyhow, um, I bought small bags of a couple chips. Some, um, well, the one I actually really like, dill pickle chips. Do you guys have dill pickle chips? everywhere else? I don't know. They are good. I could not find a small bag, so I didn't buy a bag, but I think they're like these ones. These are ketchup. Ketchup chips are pretty good too. Um, I've heard these are only in Canada, so let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, they're ketchup flavored chips, and uh, they're pretty good. Um, and then, like I said, there's dill pickle, which are really good. They're kind of Tastes like pickles, um, like vinegary and dill, and those are pretty good too. And then All Dressed is another one I read that is, I don't know, exclusive to Canada, I wanna say, but again, leave me a comment, I could be wrong. These are, these are not bad, they're, yeah, All Dressed, so they're quite strongly seasoned. Um, okay, let's move on to chocolate. Yay, chocolate. Um, okay, so this is kinda interesting. Kinder Surprise. I had no clue. Well, these I figured are from, I figured originally Germany, but I'm thinking, I think maybe I read somewhere Italy, somewhere in Europe, anyhow, I don't know. Um, but these are really cool because it's, it's a chocolate egg and then you open it up and there's, you pretty much break the chocolate in half. I could have maybe done this ahead of time so I could actually show you guys. And inside is a little yellow plastic thing and inside that is a little toy. So you might get like, yeah, usually you, like you have to build something and uh, it might be a puzzle or whatever. These are so cool. I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't like them. The chocolate's good and the toy inside is so much fun. So of course kids love them and adults too. Um, but apparently these are illegal in the States. And apparently someone was like detained because he had these. I don't know what they're thinking. Maybe like maybe you, they think you might be hiding something inside. But apparently candy with any kind of trinket or toy inside is illegal in the States, from what I read, I don't know. And you can get like a $2,500 fine per egg. So I will not be sending any of you these eggs. I'm sorry, they're good, but yeah. That was um, rather interesting to find out. Um, okay, now Smarties, I, I just assume Smarties were everywhere. Um, they're pretty much like M&Ms if you don't know what Smarties are but maybe better, um, I wanna say. So apparently maybe these are only in Canada and produced in Germany. Um, oh, that's the phone, so I'll just ignore that. Apparently they have only blue, smear blue Smarties in the UK, and uh, yeah, Smarties are good. They're just 
candy coated chocolate. So very yummy. Okay, um, I believe coffee crisp, coffee crisp is only in Canada. Again, tell me if I'm mistaken. Um, these are pretty good. I don't really eat chocolate bars, but I've had these before. Um, they are good. They, they, too, they actually have real coffee in them and they're like a wafer and everything else. So they're actually pretty tasty. And if you like coffee and chocolate, then there you go. And Big Turk, I honestly don't know if I've had one of these. Um, Big Turk, it's um, Turkish Delight coated in chocolate. Um, I have had Turkish Delight, which is very good, very sweet, but tasty. Again, this, from what I've read, is only available in Canada. Leave me a comment. I'm kind of curious now. Now that I started looking into this, I'm actually curious what, what is available where. Okay, this I was actually very excited about. I don't know, you fellow Canadians have probably heard of Thrills Gum. And I didn't know you could still find it. I mean, I remember having this as a kid. It's like purple gum. And the strange thing is, it can't open it. It actually tastes like soap. Um, I think it's been around for quite a long time. And um, apparently it was supposed to taste like rose water or something, which that's interesting. That doesn't seem like something that would be very appetizing. Um, but, uh, and actually they ended up changing the little slogan and it says, it still tastes like soap. So this is soap gum. I always called it soap gum as a kid. And it actually tastes good. I don't know. It has like a sweet, it's like tastes like sweet soap. So there you go. Who would have known? Thrills. Very exciting. I'm very excited to see if they still have this. I'm excited to chew some of this later. But, and if you're Canadian, you probably have heard of this. <clears throat> okay, so I mean, there's other stuff I came across, like, you know, maple leaf shaped maple flavored cookies, which I couldn't find. Um, <laughs> speaking of maple, so this is like my final little thing here. Maple syrup. Can you get maple syrup everywhere in the world? I would think so, it's so delicious. So I have regular maple syrup and this is maple apple syrup. So it's like apple flavored maple syrup. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. So anyhow, yeah, I love maple syrup. It's a lot better for you than um, all these other syrups out there. I don't know, I would hope, I sure hope you guys can, I've had maple syrup before because I mean, it's delicious. You can use it for so many things. Of course, pancakes is the number one, but um, yeah, anyhow. So there you have it guys, all kinds of snacks. Leave me a comment. I'm really curious to find out. Um, there's other stuff like, I mean, hickory sticks. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They're like pretty much chips, but they're like shaped like little sticks. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Some, I, I just did not want to buy like a pantry full of junk food because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all this. I'll have to hide it from Alex, but maybe I'll nibble on some of the chocolate. But anyhow, um, yeah, leave me a comment below guys. Let me know what you think. Um, and let me know what kind of snacks. If you've tried these, if you've had these in, in other places other than Canada, I actually would really like to know. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.